So I'm very happy to see everybody today. So as you begin to, you know, find yourself on your mat, just perhaps take a deep cleansing breath in through your nose and out through your mouth as you settle and make yourself comfortable on your mat. Feeling your body begin to release, relax, knowing that you're fully supported by your, by your mat and by the earth, so you can really just let go. So begin to tune into your breath. So you know, notice the rise and fall of the chest and maybe the belly, you feel the rise and fall of the belly. And just follow the breath all the way in. Notice where it changes exactly the point that it changes to an exhale and then follow it all the way out. So just stay with the breath for a little bit. On each exhale, allow yourself to relax and release a little bit more. the mind begins to wander away from the breath, just allow it to do that, notice it, and then bring yourself back to the breath again, without judgment. You know, everyone's mind is busy, but we want to try to use our breath to come into this present moment, just be in the now. You know, feel the body, on the mat, feel the weight of the body, relaxed and happy. Even thinking about the breath as an ocean wave, allow it to wash in, cool air on the inhale, allow it to wash out on the exhale. No need to change the breath. The body knows how to breathe. Just be an observer. And as we begin today, perhaps consider setting an intention to be aware of the breath throughout the practice. And I'll cue, cue us, I'll remind us about the breath, and we'll practice um, something called ujjayi breath, ocean breath. And I'll be, I'll be showing you that when we come to Sukhasana. So, no worries. So everyone just begin as we usually do by floating your arms over your head and just stretching out through your fingertips and down to the body and out to the toes. And you can do this in a gentle fashion as we begin. You don't need to bring tension, but just notice how the body is feeling today. Just maybe wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, maybe walk the shoulders up towards the ears, and then relax and take a nice deep breath again in through the nose and out through the mouth as you say, ah, and just settle in. And then we'll do that again, just a gentle stretch, out through the fingertips, down through the body, and out through the toes. And just notice, make a note of how your body is feeling as you begin. Is there any tightness or stiffness, or maybe it feels loose and relaxed? But just make note of it and then relax. Relax the arms and the legs. 
Allow the body to be heavy on the mat. And then we'll walk the heels over to the left, off of the mat. We'll lift the head and shoulders, walk them over towards the left. And we'll just feel that stretch in the right side body. And if you'd like to go a little deeper, you can cross that right angle on top of the left and take the right wrist with the left hand and draw it towards the left a little bit more, opening up the right side body and take a nice deep inhalation into that space that you've made. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and you say, ah. Just feel the opening in the right side body. And then we'll bring the head and shoulders back to center, uncross the ankles, bring them back to center. And we'll take it to the other side. So walk the heels off the mat over towards the right, lift the head and shoulders, and bring them over towards the right. And feel the opening in the left side body. You can cross that left ankle on top of right if you'd like. And if you'd like, you can take the left wrist with the right hand and draw it towards the right. So opening up the left side body this time. Notice if you're gripping and try to relax and release and take a nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth as you say, ah. And let the body, allow the body to be heavy. And then bring the head and shoulders back to center. Uncross the ankles, bring them back to center. Float the arms down. Bend the legs. And we'll bring the feet into the air and the arms into the air as we bicycle. So just warming up. Not that we need to get too warm, because it's going to be a warm day. <laughs> Just bicycle at your own pace. Feel the knees and the shoulder joints. Feel the hip flexors. Notice if you are gripping with your hands or your hands and fists, or are you relaxed and see if you can allow yourself to be relaxed, your facial muscles, your neck, your shoulders, your hands, just loosely pedal. And then when you're ready, you can return your feet to the mat. And we will take our feet about hip width apart, place our hands palm down by our side, and we'll gently just rock the knees from left, and then we'll inhale them back up, exhale them to the right. So our focus today is going to be moving with our breath. So you know, try to remember to follow the breath by, you know, kind of what comes naturally, but we usually inhale the knees up and exhale the knees when they drop to the side. So inhaling to center, and then exhaling to the side. But, you know, follow your own inclination. Nothing is wrong. <laughs> I guess the only thing, you know, we would like not to do is to, we don't want to hold our breath. We want to allow the breath to flow freely, and it supports our movement if we're letting our breath just flow in its regular rhythm. So inhaling to center, exhaling to the side. And the next time your knees come up to center, straighten your left leg and bring, I'm sorry, straighten your right leg and bring your left knee in towards your chest. And just use the breath to draw the knee, the left knee, in towards the chest and we exhale without bringing tension to the shoulders or to the facial muscles. Just 
just a gentle stretch, just bringing some flexibility to that hip joint. You can rotate the ankle of the left foot in some small circles, kind of bringing a little lubrication to that ankle joint also. And at some point, reverse the direction. Relaxing the shoulders. And then release that foot down, send the left leg out long, and bring the right knee in towards the chest. And we'll just do the same thing here, just drawing the knee in on the exhale and rotating that right ankle. Just very easy. And at some point, rotate the ankle in the opposite direction. Notice the breath. And then release that foot to the mat. Bring the left foot in to meet it. We're going to take the left ankle on top of the right thigh. And we will lift the head and shoulders up. Bring our hands into that triangle space that we made and clasp behind the right thigh. And then this time, let's try straightening the right leg so that the sole of the foot, of the right foot, is walking on the ceiling. Check in with the shoulders, allow them to relax. And on your exhales, draw your right thigh in towards your body a little bit. Any little bit. Any small amount is great, and you'll feel the stretch in that left hip. Try to re relax the shoulders away from the ears, and if the neck, you know, gets tired, just gently bring the head back to the mat. You're still stretching that hip flexor nicely. Relax the shoulders as best you can. Using the breath to draw the thigh, the right thigh in. And then you can release your feet down to the mat and take your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Lift the head and shoulders, reach behind the left thigh. And then if you did it on the other side, straighten the left leg this time. If you straighten the leg, if you kept it bent, then keep it bent on this side. We want to try to bring balance to the body and draw that left thigh in towards the chest. Relax the head down to the mat if the neck needs a rest. Draw the left thigh in on your exhales. Flex that left foot. Feel the gentle stretch in the right hip. And then release the feet down to the mat. And then lift the hips up and bring the hands underneath the sacrum. And then bring the knees in towards the chest and send the feet up towards the sky. So the soles of the feet will be adhering to be standing on the sky. And this is called waterfall. And so it's good for our circulation. So take a nice big deep inhalation here and exhale and say, ah, relaxing the shoulders. And then engage the abs, the core, and gently very slowly, if you're able, lower the legs to the mat. Use your breath. When you finally 
relax the feet on the mat, and then lift the hips up and take the hand out from underneath. And then we'll turn to our side and come up, or we'll bring our hands behind our thighs and drop and come up, coming up to seated, to Sukhasana. So rock from side to side and feel your sit bones, you know, feel that connection with the earth. And so I want to introduce some of you to Ujjayi breath, and some of you already know this breath and maybe have practiced it. It's um, sometimes called ocean breath. And, you know, don't worry if it doesn't totally make sense to you, but maybe it will. So um, what we do is to prepare for this is we inhale through our nose and then we open our mouth and make an audible sound. So let's do that again. So we'll inhale through our nose, open our mouths on the exhale and make an audible sound, sort of a hot sound. Um, we can also teach this by inhaling through the nose, bring our hand in front of us as if we're going to fog up a mirror on the exhale. So we're saying, ha, you know, ha. So inhaling through the nose, open the mouth on the exhale and say, ha. So just getting that feeling on the exhale of fogging up a mirror. And so the next time um, we uh, progress through this breath is we'll um, close our lips on the exhale and we'll feel constriction, slight constriction in the throat and we'll almost hear like an ocean sound because we're still trying to do that on the exhale. So I don't know if you can hear it. Maybe I'll come closer on the... So I will inhale. It's also called Darth Vader breath, <laughs> so or ocean breath. So we're inhaling through the nose, and on the exhale, we're feeling a constriction, a slight constriction in the throat, and we're hearing like an ocean sound or a Darth Vader sound. And so this breath is called Ujjayi breath, and it is calming as well as energizing. And I think the reason that it is calming is because we can hear the breath, you know, within our own body, we can hear the breath and it's, you know, calming and energizing, you know, energizing because you kind of realize that you've got some nice pranayama or breath flowing through the body. So, so um, let's do that one more time. So we're going to inhale through the nose and then close the lips as we're saying ha and feeling constriction. And it makes an audible sound in the throat. So you may, you know, it's your choice. You know, you can try Ujjayi breath. I'll cue us to kind of, you know, practice that a little bit. Um, just remember, it's calming and energizing. So it's a nice breath to practice. So as we sit in our Sukhasana here, uh, we'll come into cat seated cat cow. So we'll inhale as we gaze up and exhale. You can try the ujjayi as we round the back and bring the chin to the chest. So inhale through the nose to come forward and then exhale. See if you can hear that ocean. Chin to chest. Inhale, gazing up, lifting the heart center, exhaling. Practice that ujjayi. <sighs> Exhaling, practice ujjayi. One more time. Inhaling forward as we gaze up. And exhale, close the lips. Feel the constriction in the back of the throat and hear that ocean sound. And if you don't quite get it this first time, no worries. You know, we'll maybe practice it another time. And we'll interlace our fingers in front of us, turn our palms away from us as we stretch our arms towards the front of the room, and then inhale the arms up overhead, feel the stretch in the shoulders, and on the exhale, see if you can practice with jockey, bring the arms down. 
and then inhale, bring the arms up overhead, and exhale, practice with Jati. Breath. One more time. Inhale, the arms up overhead, and then exhale, using that Ujjayi breath. Great. So let's bring the soles of our feet together for Baddha Konasana. So we'll hold our toes with the palms of our hands, kind of cup the hands around the toes. We'll sit up nice and tall, nice tall spine. And just take an Ujjayi breath here. So in through the nose. Another breath. We're going to take the left foot and bring it under the right thigh. And then we'll press the sole of the right foot into the mat. So we're sitting up nice and tall. We'll take the left arm and wrap it around the right chin. You know, all the while, let's sit up nice and tall. And we're going to send the right fingertips forward, sitting up nice and tall, take an inhale, and as you exhale, follow the fingertips around, around, around. And then bring the fingertips so that they're pointing towards the right hip. Hug that left, no, hug the right shin, sitting up nice and tall. And inhale, and on your exhale, see if you can turn on the head to look out over the right shoulder without forcing it. Take a nice Ujjayi breath here. And then release back to center. And then we'll switch legs. So we'll bring the right foot, the right knee down, and take the left foot, bringing it in front of the right shin. Sit up nice and tall. We'll take the opposite arm. So the right arm will wrap around the left chin and before we twist we sit up nice and tall extend the left fingertips forward gazing at the left fingertips follow them around bring them behind you place the fingertips the hand down on the mat fingertips facing your hip inhale and as you exhale see if you can gaze over the left shoulder hugging that left shin towards the chest. Take a nice Ujjayi breath here. And then release back to center. Great. Change the um, cross of the legs. Rock from side to side. Feel the sit bones. And we'll just sit up nice and tall and we'll come into some head and neck roll. So drop your chin to your chest and just in your own time, just gently roll the head around, noticing the neck and shoulders, how everything is feeling today. You can even close your eyes. Feel the gentle stretch in the neck muscles and in the shoulders. In any place you may feel that needs a little extra attention, you can just toggle the head back and forth in this spot and see if you can just release any tightness or tension. And at some point, just reverse your direction and go the other way. Just being very mindful of your neck, especially when you're tipping your head back. Just go slowly and mindfully, using your breath. And then when you're ready, you can come to stillness with the head. And we'll walk the left hand out away from the body, press the palm into the mat, and then inhale the right arm up and over, I kind of call these ballerina arms. And just, you can walk that left hand away, but press the right hip into the mat. And you can gaze up at the inner elbow crease. 
feeling the stretch in the right side of your back. Press that right hip into the mat. And then inhale back to center. Walk the right fingertips away. Press the palm into the mat if you're able. And then inhale the left arm into ballerina arm. Pressing the left hip into the mat, easing up at the left elbow crease. Just feel the stretch in the left side, the left rib cage and the lower back. And then inhale back to center. And we will spread our legs into a nice wide V. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll turn our torso and our chest and chin toward the left knee. And then inhale, gaze up at the fingertips, really extend through the fingertips and fold at the hip crease as you come forward, leading with your chin, leading with your chest. And just come down as far as is comfortable. No need to you know, push yourself lower, just allow the body to just rest where it comes, comes down. So chin and chest are pointing toward that left knee. And just take a nice jotty breath here. You can take another one. Walk the fingertips to center. Sit up nice and tall again. Inhale the arms up, stretch through the fingertips, turn the chest and uh, chin towards the right knee, and then exhale, folding at the hip crease as you come forward. You just come down as far as your body allows. And just take another Ujjayi breath here. And then inhale back a tall straight spine and we'll bring our knees together and come to a nice table gracefully come to table so we'll bring our wrists underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hip points and we'll just come into a cat cow so drop the belly inhale Push away from the mat with the hands as you gaze forward or gaze up at towards the ceiling. Exhale, round back, bring the chin to the chest, press away from the mat with your hands. Nice round back. And then drop the belly as you gaze forward, your eyes kind of up towards the sky. And then exhale, bring the belly button towards the spine. Round the back, press away from the mat, actively with the cat. Inhale, drop the belly. Gaze forward or gaze slightly up, pushing away from the mat. And then exhale, round the back. Again, pushing away from the mat. Nice rounded back, belly button towards the spine. And then come to a flat back. From here, we're going to curl our toes under, press into the back of all 10 knuckles, spreading the fingers wide, and coming up to a nice down dog. We can pedal the legs, alternating. Come up onto the toes, and then settle back towards the heels, pressing the back of the calves, the back of the thighs, towards the back of the mat, pressing into all 10 knuckles, the back of all 10 knuckles. And you can try clawing at your mat. So index finger and thumb, index finger is pointing toward the front of the mat. And then just press into the pads of the fingers. And this can take a little bit of um, tension off the wrist. You can try that and see if it makes any difference for you. And then we're going to come forward 
and turn ourselves, turn our feet onto the tops of our feet or up dog, and our knees are off the mat. Gazing up, shoulders away from the ears. Turn the toes under again, come back up to down dog. And then we're going to come forward to plank. You can come onto your knees for half plank, or you can just come to full plank. So pressing away from the mat. Nice, strong, straight back. Pressing into the heels if you're in full plank. And then we'll bring the knees to the mat and sit back on the heels, walking the hands to the top of the mat as we rest our forehead for extended child. And if your shoulders don't permit, you can bend the arms. And just practice your jockey breath here. Maybe not as easily because we're kind of compressed, but give it a try and see what it feels like. Come up onto the hands again and up onto the knees. And we're going to bring the left hand towards the center of the mat. We'll pivot that left foot off the mat as we turn to the side, to the long end of the mat. Send the right leg out straight, press into the sole of the right foot. And then inhale the right arm up towards the sky as you gaze up at the right thumb. So we want the shoulders stacked on top of one another, the arms on top of one another. And if you'd like, you can bend that top arm and bring the hand behind the waist to open up the right shoulder. So bringing that right shoulder back. Or you can keep the arm extended. And if your neck does not permit, you know, you can just look forward like this. And then on an inhale, we're going to lift up off the mat. Send the right hand down the right leg and ballerina arm, the left arm over the head. Feel the stretch on the left side body. Take a nice jaunty breath. Exhale, bring the left hand down to the mat. Turn the body so that the right hand meets the mat, come onto the knees. And then we're going to walk the hands in a rainbow to the other side. So we start in our table, bring the right hand towards the center of the mat, pivot the right knee off the mat, send the left leg out straight, pressing the left sole of the foot into the mat, so the left leg is straight, and then inhale the left arm up towards the sky as you gaze up at the left thumb. If the neck doesn't permit, just look straight ahead. And then if you'd like, you can take that left arm down and behind the back to open up, up the left shoulder. And you can try taking an ujjayi breath here. And then we'll lift the right hand off the mat, slide the left Hand down the left leg as we bring the right arm into ballerina arms, stretching over towards that straight leg, gazing up at the elbow crease of the right arm. Exhale, bring the hand to the mat, bring both knees to the mat. I'm just going to come so that I'm facing forward and curl the toes under. Push off so that you're on your toes. You can either just stand right up from this, or you can bring the, the heels down to the mat if, it'll, if your body allows, and press into the knees with your elbows for malasana. If your knees, you know, if 
you don't want to try this, no problem. Just come to your Tadasana. And some people's heels don't come down to the mat, which seems harder to me, <laughs> but you can put a blanket under there next time if you want to practice this pose. Put a blanket under your heels. And then inhale up to standing. Come to your Tadasana by rocking from side to side. Heels off four, four corners of your feet. We're going to come to chair pose here. So we're going to actually bring the big toes together. And in this posture, we'll be pressing the uh, ankles, the calves and the thighs together. So I might come back a little so you can see me. So pressing the ankles, the calves and the thighs together, Let's inhale the arms up so that they're nice and straight. The elbow creases are near the ears. We'll rotate the torso slightly forward. Maybe I'll turn to the side. Rotate the torso slightly forward. Bend the knees as if you were going to sit into a chair. Lift the toes so you want the weight to be in your heels. Taking a jockey breath. Building strength in the thighs and the lower back. Then exhale the arms down as you fold forward with the knees slightly bent. You can keep the bend in the knees. And then we're going to inhale the arms back up and come into chair again. So lift the toes, straighten the arms, press the ankles, calves, Thighs together, knees together, nice strong chair, and then float the arms down as you come back up to standing. And now we're going to float forward in Uttanasana. So we'll inhale the arms up so that they're straight overhead, turn the palms away from each other, and let's do a swan dive on the exhale. As we float forward, we can bend the knees. We'll place the hands on either side of the feet as we come down to our knees and then down to our belly. Come down slowly and gracefully. We'll bring our hands on either side of our face as we rest our forehead on the mat bringing our elbows in towards our body, bringing our shoulders away from our ears. On an inhale, we'll lift the chin and the chest off the mat. Our sphinx, exhaling down, resting the forehead on the mat. So pressing the, the tops of the feet and the pubic bones into the mat. On an inhale, lift the chin and the chest up off the mat. We're just gazing slightly in front of our mat. So we're, not, we're trying to keep a nice long spine from the crown of our head to our tailbone. And then exhale down. And then you can make your way gracefully to your back. And you can either bend the knees and rest the knees against one another if you began in that way. Or you can come into a comfortable shavasana, whichever, whichever posture feels the best to you. And as you begin to settle back on your mat, just begin to follow your breath before you really settle in and follow the breath. You can do one more ujjayi. And hear that ocean sound, that audible sound on the exhale as you relax the back body. Back fully supported by the earth, allowing yourself to be completely relaxed releasing any tension you may feel. So gently scanning the body from head to toe, 
noticing any place there might still be any leftover tension. Bring your breath there and on your exhale, allow the tension to melt away if there, if there is any tension left. So just follow your breath as if it were an ocean wave, gently washing in, gently washing away, washing away any tension. I'll read my bowl. to bring my hands to Anjali Mudra. I will invite you to do the same if you'd like. May you use your breath to be calm and relaxed throughout your day and to bring yourself into this present moment. Your breath is always with you. Namaste.